Let's take a look at finding the mean on a TI Voyage 200 calculator. Let's take a look at uh, plugging these numbers in on our uh, TI Voyage 200. Now you want to be back at your, your uh, main screen here. If you're not, if you're in something, whatever it might be, for example if I'm in uh, finance here, if you simply press your apps button, then that will take you, take you back to the main, main screen. Now we want to use our arrow keys and we want to highlight the data slash matrix a choice. And then we'll press our enter. Now if we already have a, an existing um, data then we can do an open. Otherwise we want to do a new. I'm going to come down to new and press enter. Now it comes up as uh, type is data and that's what we want. The main folder is fine. And I'll pick a variable. Maybe I'll put in, um, uh, I don't know, Z. And you, could, you don't have to have a single letter. And then I'll press Enter. And Enter again. Sometimes you have to press Enter twice on these. First one is just to confirm what you, what you input. And the second time is actually to, to process the screen. So now we're ready to plug the numbers in. So we'll do 13, Enter. We'll do 19. Enter. We'll do 23. Enter. 31. Enter. 45. Enter. 46. Enter. 47. Enter. 51. Enter. And 53. Enter. If you're in your stats course, you probably won't go back up here and up arrow and verify all of your numbers. Now, once you're satisfied with those, across the top here, you see you got um, uh, cell, header, calc, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, calc is the one we want. And you see it says F5. So we'll come down here, we'll push the F5. That comes up and asks us for calculation type, and there's an arrow here. So we're going to right arrow. And then we want to choose one one var. So I'm going to up arrow to one var and then press enter. Then I'm going to down arrow and it's asking me for the X. Now this is the name of our, our column. And if you don't remember what this is, then you know you can escape or um, escape is probably the best way. Cancel. And our column is C1. So let's go back there. So do F5. Again, I want to choose one var. And then I'll put in C1. So I'll do C and then 1. And then down arrow. And it says use frequency and categories. Just down arrow now. We don't want any of that. Actually, I'm ready to just press enter. You probably have to enter twice. So do, or maybe once. <laughs> and we see our X bar. Our first option here says 36.44 rounded to two decimal places. So that's our mean. That's not only your sample mean, but that's your population mean. And it tells us to do an enter okay for OK. So I do an enter. Now to get out of this, you can simply just press your apps, and that'll take you back to your, your main screen. And that's how you find a mean on a TI Voyage 200.